Today is the 30th anniversary of your fight with Roberto Duran. Yeah. What are your memories of that fight? Memories is glad that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> so you won that by a split decision, correct? It was split decision. It was a uh, unanimous split, I thought it was. Um, and everybody was mad at me because they wanted Mob to fight him again instead of going to Lennon. Right. And because Mob lost, lost with Lennon, they blamed me. And I'm thinking, what do you mean blame me for? I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in there to win. <laughs> you know? So what did it mean for you personally and for your career to get that win? Um, I really can't say. It, it, you know, I was in the, up, in the up top ten and I was... I fought for the championship a couple times, and but what it meant to beat somebody like Duran was, you know, it's, is there a word for that? You know what I mean? I mean, people are still talking, how did, they, they're, they're trying to assume, how did you beat him? I don't know, <laughs> you know, I did a lot of praying, <laughs> you know, I did a lot of praying and I did ask the Lord you know, to stay with me. And in, in, in the fight, I had, I had, he hit me with a shot. If you look at it, he hit me with one shot and I thought it was it, in, in the body. And if it wasn't for the fact that I could box, I would have never been it. That would have been it. Would have been it if it wasn't yeah. for you could box, huh? Yeah. So I stayed away from him until I can get. And then when he when he came in close, I I was holding on for life, <laughs> you know. But the simple fact is that I couldn't give up. I thought that if I did give up, this would never happen. All right. Congratulations on the 30th anniversary of that uh, event. I appreciate it.